गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रन एज वी हैड ऑलरेडी कंप्लीटेड चैप्टर नंबर थ्री द सेल ना टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट चैप्टर नंबर फोर दिस इज द फर्स्ट लेक्चर ऑफ चैप्टर नंबर फोर एंड द नेम ऑफ द चैप्टर इज द ह्यूमन डाइजेस्टिव सिस्टम दिस इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट एंड इंटरेस्टिंग चैप्टर ओके चिल्ड्रन सो इन दिस चैप्टर as the name is human digestive system we are going to study about the parts of human digestive system you can say the organs of human digestive system and uh, after that we are going to study what is the main function of each organ of digestive system how the digestion occur uh, when we eat different type of nutrients and what are the good eating habits ओके सो एज वी यू ऑल नो वी ईट फूड ओके वेन वी आर ईटिंग फूड एज यू कैन सी इन द पिक्चर दिस इज द माउथ ओके इन द माउथ वेन वी ईट फूड सपोज इफ इफ आई से दैट टूडे योर मम्मा इज गोइंग टू कुक योर फेवरेट फूड फॉर यू सपोज योर मम्मा इज कुकिंग पिज्जा फॉर यू सो इमीडिएटली योर माउथ स्टार्ट वॉटरिंग why the mouth start watering because in our mouth we have salivary glands okay i will explain you in in this chapter uh, salivary glands so as you can see in the picture this is the mouth and from the mouth the food goes to different parts you can see in the picture different parts are there and each part performs the function and then the food comes out from from the body so uh, in this chapter we are going to study what are the functions of different parts of these digestive system okay so uh, first as we know the digestion of the food takes place inside our body now in which part of the body the digestion of the food takes place how the digestion of the food takes place that we are discussing now the first thing is that when we eat the food we the food broken into smaller pieces now inside the mouth if we talk about the mouth so what we have in our mouth we have tongue we have teeth okay and if we talk about the mouth inside the mouth we have in our mouth we have teeth okay plus tongue now teeth if we talk about teeth we have lower jaw lower jaw means the uh, lower teeth okay and the upper jaw okay if i draw a structure of teeth over over here so this is the upper jaw and these teeth are the lower jaw and in between those teeth we have the small tongue now uh, both the teeth when they are working together we can see uh, this upper jaw is not movable but this lower jaw is movable it can move but upper jaw you can try it upper jaw is not movable now this is the mouth okay the teeth and tongue you all know but when we talk about something so there is a secretion of saliva saliva what is saliva saliva is a watery substance saliva is a watery substance it is called saliva okay so uh, that water that comes in our mouth we can say what, what is saliva the water that comes in our mouth when we think about something we which we want to eat or when we are eating something then the saliva comes in our mouth other than that how the saliva is produced because inside our mouth we have salivary glands salivary glands salivary glands are responsible for the production of saliva what is saliva saliva is a watery substance which is secreted by the salivary gland inside our body what is the function of mouth now mouth it has teeth lower jaw upper jaw 
and the teeth they help in breaking the food into smaller pieces is that clear now when the uh, suppose if i draw a diagram in front of you so this is the mouth we have taken the food from the mouth now the food is going into this pipe like structure okay now the food is going into a pipe like structure so that pipe like structure is called esophagus esophagus or it is also called as food pipe it's also a very very important part of the digestive system so i uh, just remember the first organ of the digestive system is the mouth second is the esophagus now what is the function of esophagus as we can see it is a pipe like structure we have eaten we have taken the food from the mouth mouth has broken the food into smaller pieces now from the mouth the food is going down into esophagus okay now it is just like a pipe food pipe why it is a food pipe because it is helping in the passage of food from the mouth to the other organ of the digestive system okay now when the food is passing through the esophagus we have taken the food from the mouth now the food is passing down to the esophagus so how it goes down it moves down Uh, by, from the esophagus by a process that pro that process is called peristalsis okay now what is that peristalsis now you can see the movement that i am showing you with my hand okay these are my fingers okay suppose i have food here so what i am doing i am just closing opening closing opening so what i am doing just closing opening so the structure that is present in between this this part i am just closing opening closing opening so this is the process that is occurring inside the food pipe okay so what is that that is the contraction expansion contraction expansion so because of that contraction and expansion of the muscles of the food pipe the food is going down okay and where the food is going now the food is going inside the stomach is that clear children the food is going down into the stomach and now you can see the stomach it is just like a bean shaped if we talk about rajma if we talk about uh, the beans that we eat the seed of the beans the same shape the stomach is having now from the mouth the food comes into the food pipe by the process of peristalsis and now the food has reached to third part that part is called stomach is that clear so stomach now stomach what is a stomach stomach is so we can say it is a bag like structure it is a bag like structure present on the left side you have your left hand if you touch the left side if you touch the uh, left side of your abdomen with your left hand down to your ribs you will feel that stomach is there so it is the most widest part of the digestive system it is the biggest part you can say among all these parts the stomach is the widest part of the digestive system now the food that comes from the food pipe it has come and it has collected inside the stomach now stomach when the food comes stomach has also small uh, salivary glands inside the stomach it also has salivary it has also glands okay as i have told you that mouth secretes the saliva same way the stomach also secretes the digestive juices you have to remember that word the stomach secretes digestive juices okay other than that inside our stomach we have hydrochloric acid hydrochloric 
acid as well as mucus mucus is also a watery substance that has come along with the food from the mouth into the stomach so it has now three things first is the digestive juices second is the hydrochloric acid third is the mucus now all these things suppose here is the food all the things comes and mixed with the food again there is a process as i have told you in the esophagus there is a process inside the stomach the food is coming and now there is a process called churning churning means the mouth the uh, food that is left unbroken inside the mouth it will broken down into the stomach into smaller pieces so now the food has come to the stomach it has mixed with the digestive juices it has mixed with the hydrochloric acid and it is it is mixed with the mucus and now it has also changed into very very small pieces okay if we are not chewing the uh, food properly in the mouth then at that time sometimes we feel the pain in our stomach because the stomach has to work a lot for breaking the food into smaller pieces so we should chew the food properly in the mouth so that we will not face any type of digestive problem inside our stomach okay the second question arises here the stomach contains hydrochloric acid so what is the use of that hydrochloric acid now hydrochloric acid is present in the stomach it is a harmful acid if we see it in the labs so uh, the hydrochloric acid concentrated hydrochloric acid especially it is dangerous but inside the stomach it is also present so whatever the bacteria that comes out from the body those are uh, those are uh, those become dead because of that hydrochloric acid so it is not harmful for our, our body it helps in the digestion now uh, other than that it is not given in your book but again i am explaining you because it is given in the diagram first i would like to show you in, you in the book you can see one part is there that is called liver another part is gall bladder and one more part is here that is called pancreas the explanation of these parts they have given uh, later on but uh, this organs they have not explained in the book For what are these organ you can say that this is the stomach now this side a leaf like structure is present on the stomach so that is a liver and on the liver a ball shaped structure is present that is called gall bladder okay other than that in the lower part if we see so that is a that part which is present that is called pancreas you can see in the diagram this is a liver on the liver a ball like structure is present that is called gall bladder and here down in the stomach that is a pancreas okay now what are the function of these three organs these three organs again help in the in the secretion of digestive juices as you know children uh, we ha you have already studied in your class 5 we eat different type of nutrients okay so in our nutrients mainly we eat uh, carbohydrates we eat proteins uh then we eat fats vitamins and minerals now these all the nutrient they are digested by some specific juices so all these juices you will study further all these juices they are further produced by this different type of organs okay now uh here from the stomach a small pipe like structure arises now that pipe like structure got attached and it forms a large intestine on both the sides if we are going to show a diagram so it will be like a like this okay now i have drawn this pipe like structure also and on the outer side i have drawn that thickest line now this outer one is the large intestine intestine and this inner one is the small intestine okay here is the rectum and 
under last part is the ms okay now you can count first part is the mouth second is the esophagus third is the stomach fourth is the small intestine fifth is the large intestine sixth is the rectum and seventh is the anus these are the main part of the digestive system okay so from the mouth to the anus from the mouth you can see the movement of my pen from the mouth the food goes into the food pipe then it goes into the stomach then it comes to the small intestine and then it goes to the large intestine and then collected in the rectum and then through anus it comes out of the body other than these organs they help in the secretion of digestive juices so from the mouth through the anus that tube like structure is called as alimentary canal very important we can ask you what is a alimentary canal so alimentary canal is a structure from the mouth to the anus okay now it is also known as a gut if you you have the book just see in your book it is also known as a gut or digestive tract okay a long tube running from the mouth to anus of a human beings in which the digestion and absorption of food takes place is called alimentary canal alimentary canal is also known as a gut or digestive tract it is almost 8 to 9 meters long and it is a continuous there is no break in the alimentary canal it is a continuous canal so uh, that is called as a alimentary canal is it clear children so i have given you the explanation about mouth esophagus and stomach now if we come to the small intestine now small intestine is a pipe like structure when the food it broken down into smaller pieces in the stomach it comes to the small intestine now small intestine is approximate 5 to 6 5 to 6 meter long and the large intestine it is thick but it is approximate 1.5 meter okay small intestine is also thin it is very thin you can see in the picture also it is thin it is thick so uh, the small intestine it help in the passage of food from the small intestine the food goes into the large intestine and then the energy is released that i will explain you in my next chapter in uh, next lecture and in the rectum the food get collected and from the anus the food is removed out of the body so from your book you have figure number 4.1 in your book on page number page number 57 okay so just draw that diagram into your copy and learn the parts in the next chapter in the next lecture i am going to explain you other parts of the digestive system thank you children